Hey, Commander. I just wanted to say thank you. Here, we found more medical supplies. All yours. I... thank you. Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene, but I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. The truth is, none of us can do this alone. Our only chance is to join forces. You might be right. But the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? I mean, watch and learn. As everything's in place, the entire station's connected. People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. You cannot be beaten, and you will never be controlled. Be ready! Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back! That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega. My people. Love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Got it.
We're on our way. Talons will join your cause. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. She said you were honorable. Glad to see she was right. Yeah, sure. Wonders never cease. One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. We're almost there, Shepard. The Talons will be the frontline fodder. Now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife which will release Omega civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. You handled Nyrene perfectly and got us an army. She wears her weakness on her chest. It would take more effort to stop myself from exploiting it. Let's hope she's up to the task. You and I will have to keep her on point. Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. Urgently, your attention, if you please. Things are starting to heat up over here. We need to bring you in, fast. Ruck? Ruck, can you hear me? Damn it, Ruck! Don't do that again! I thought I'd lost your signal. Yeah, well... Don't do that again. Your attention. Tentative excitement. Welcome to Herod's Emporium. Relieved, I am grateful for Arya's return. Hidden back room was getting confining. Her patrol liberated me. Cunningly, I have a plan to recoup my losses since the Cerberus takeover. Informative, the General threw out Arya's couch from afterlife upon taking over. I would like to gain her favor by returning it. Temptingly, if you find it and send me the coordinates, I will make it worth your while. It's not a priority, but I'll keep my eyes open. Appreciative. Upon success, I will give you a finder's fee for your trouble. I'll let you know. Courteously, have a nice day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Those are exactly what I needed. Thanks. This door's on lockdown. Enemy access to critical areas. The frontal assault should be less treacherous. They think they have us trapped in here. They're in for a surprise, all right. Arya wants to talk to you first, Commander.
Talk to me, Az. I've located the source that's powering the Cerberus force fields. Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The General is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. The processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Arya, my patrol, caught her in the perimeter. Please, you didn't catch me. We're allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyreen was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyrene. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there too. I can almost taste it, Shepard. Once we stop the leeching of the reactor, my path to the General will be clear. Well, aside from the thousands of troops standing between him and us. Details. We don't have time to waste. Is there something you want to talk about? What happens when we bring the force fields down? The people revolt, chaos ensues, and we lead the Talons and my forces on a wanton path right through the General's command center in afterlife. A bloodbath. It's true. When the force fields come down, all hell breaks loose. But as far as I'm concerned, all the blood's on Petrovsky's hands. Do you think Nyrene's over whatever happened between you? It was a long time ago. But Nyrene's the type that doesn't forget. I run roughshod over most people, and if the tracks I leave aren't deadly, they're at least permanent. As different as we are, I don't wish her ill. So long as she doesn't get in my way. Is your hatred for the General getting the best of you? I'd say it's bringing out the best in me. The man has turned Omega into a prison and a launch pad for Cerberus campaigns. You should hate him too. I for one can't wait to finally get my hands on him. I won't bother you with more questions. All right, when you're ready, I'll meet you and Nyrene at the exit by the med bay. All right, I think I figured out where you are. Oh no, Rocky. Shepard. I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Arya will be joining us soon. Now may be our only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. What's your impression of Petrovsky? An adversary worthy of respect. And not just because he's shrewd. When I was starting to organize the Talons, he offered amnesty to anyone who set down their weapon. A few of my people surrendered, and he made good on his word. So he has a code. And, as near as I can tell, it doesn't exactly match the elusive man's. Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity now. We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our Asari friend. I suppose we'll know soon enough. How did you get mixed up with Arya? I was happy in the Turian military, but when my biotic abilities started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people, so I quit. 
I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. How close were you two? The draw was undeniable. Her strengths mirrored my insecurities. Maybe deep down it was the same for her. But trying to be with her turned into trying to be her. Irene Kandros was vanishing. You could take more cues from her. A great human wrote, To thine own self be true. I tried to fit into Arya's world. In the end, it helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her. But I regret nothing. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it could destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... What they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return, I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me. And haunts me. I appreciate it, Nyreen. We're heading out soon. I'll be ready. at one of the ESO processing plants. It's been powered down, so we'll have to pry open the door. I'll get it. Access to the mine should be on the far side. And the reactor is beyond that? According to the schematics, I ran Omega and Irene. I didn't work the mines myself. No, you had indentured servants for that. Spirits. Relax, they're all Cerberus. They've been ripped to shreds. I don't like this. More dead. It's a bloodbath. I got a bad feeling. We shouldn't be quiet. What's that sound? An adjutant. Oh no. The general must have locked this place down to keep it inside.
The elevator to the mines is through that door. It's deactivated. Then we need to power this place up. There should be a master circuit breaker somewhere. These pipes power the door. We should follow them. Need to find the power breaker. Follow the pipe. <clears throat> the whispering's receding. Maybe the adjutant doesn't like its odds. Don't kid yourself. I've seen one of those things take down a squad of soldiers. Down this ladder. There's the power control. When this is over, there'll be a lot of repairs to make. I hope you'll focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. That's one thing we have in common. Spirit! Unload on it. Nike, wake up! I hate those things. Hate should make you deadlier. That looked like fear to me. All right, back to the door. Another one. Fire at will. Shepard, look alive. More adjutants. Elevator's on its way. We can't let them escape. I think we got them all. Let's try the elevator again. Stay alert. All right, into the elevator. I'll seal the door, just in case. On to the mines. What's eating you? Just processing. It's clear the general sealed that area to keep the adjutants in. Along with some unlucky soldiers. Yes, the creatures killed them, but didn't turn them into more adjutants can't shake it. Something's off. You're just spooked. There's a rhythm to this place, Arya. To Cerberus. 
If he'd stuck it out here, maybe you'd feel it too. Whatever's in our way, we'll deal with it. You can hear the drills. Damn it. They shouldn't be straining like that. Cerberus must be working them hard. Access to the reactor is somewhere on the upper level. Let's find a way up there. maintenance elevator across the way. We need to find an alternate route across. to get us there. They know 
our target. Expect heavy reinforcements. Just stay focused and find the access point to the reactor. Cerberus invaded here. Killed everyone. Now we're paying them back in kind. I'm sure your dead workers feel much better now. The elevator to the reactor is across the way. This place is falling apart. Strange. We're not being attacked anymore. Yep, be ready for anything. started months ago. That wasn't war, babe. That was just a warm-up. There's the reactor. Straight ahead. Looks like we were expected. More like lured. I knew the reactor would be the hard target. I gave you no choice but this route. Why don't you do this in person, Petrovsky? Get your own hands dirty. I take no pleasure in any of this, Commander. You're the ones trying to start a war for the glory of Arya. But now it's over. This isn't over until your next of kin can't identify you. I love your bravado, but have the sense to know when you're beaten. You've been neutralized, and I can leave you there to rot. You might as well give up. Never! Arya, what are you thinking? I'm not going out like this. Arya, don't! <laughs> trying to do. Damn it, Arya, you're forcing my hand. We'll do it your way, then. Nereen! Max!
you know you could do that? I didn't. Stay alive over there. You can't do this, Commander. There's more at stake than you know. That reactor powers life support systems for dozens of wards across the station. Shut it down and thousands of people perish. You hearing this, Arya? Yes, and I don't care. Shut it down! Shepard, don't! Try rerouting power away from the force fields. Damn it. Hold tight down there. Rerouting the power to maintain the other systems. Are you crazy? We're all spent. Nyreen, watch your flank. This is who you're working for, Shepard. She doesn't care who gets hurt. What are you waiting for? Oh, look, the reactor. She'd just thrown thousands of lives away. This shouldn't be that hard. Maybe something inside is holding you back. Maybe deep down you're starting to think the galaxy might be better off without her. She's never going to learn. She'll never change. Even if you... Shut up. So be it. All units, battle stations, prepare for attack. Get the demolition crews into position. You okay? Despite your best efforts to kill me? Your soft heart almost cost me everything. Shepard tried rerouting power to save innocent lives. It was the right thing. When are you going to learn? There are no innocents on Omega. You fought bravely against those mechs in there, Nyreen. Very impressive. But? Why can't you bring that same grit when adjutants attack? It's pathetic. You tense up at the mere mention of those abominations. Lay off. She just saved you. I'm trying to help her, Shepard. Call it tough love. The war's starting. I don't mean to miss it. She's never been big on thank yous. Getting reports. All force fields down. Civilians taking to the streets in droves. Cerberus pulling back. That won't last. The people don't have the training to go up against Cerberus' front lines. They'll be wiped out. Civilian casualties can't be avoided. You'll have to accept this. 
Say what you will, Arya. I won't allow senseless deaths. Do what you can to protect them. Of course, Commander. Arya, right here. Report. My team is scouting the maintenance tunnels. We've encountered Cerberus forces escorting engineers. They're moving gear. Look to be setting explosives to the station's central support columns. Bray, engage. Delay them as long as you can. We're coming. Got it. Roll out, people. If they detonate the main column, they'll cut off the way to afterlife. The Talon offensive will be stopped cold. So we split up? Yes. Nyreen, lead the frontal assault. Shepard and I will meet you in the markets after we've taken care of those bombs. Of course. But don't count on me building your memorials if you get yourselves killed. Don't get ahead of yourself. The only route to the central column is through the tunnels. Extend the dam in the control room. That should get us across. what you wanted. I'm sending you the coordinates now. Is that my couch? Get to the central column before Cerberus sets off those bombs.
They're messing with the support columns. We have to stop them. Over there! We can get to the bomb controls once the access panels are open. This way. Got it. Those bombs just went live. The console is locked. We'll have to manually disable them. Take care of the bombs, Shepard. I'll handle the to go. Irene, things are under control here. What's your situation? We're advancing through the Gozu district. Move forward. Keep that flank covered. Yes, boss. We're holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Just get to the rendezvous point. That's all that matters. Not in my world. Nyrene out. So how exactly do we get to afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach for a change. Cerberus. How do you know that? It could be the talents. Never mind. They bit off more than they could chew. We should get a move on.
civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. The first generation adjutants have been transferred from the containment area and are being outfitted with the implants. The previous batches have been processed and moved to the storage area. We can now control when and where the adjutants convert their victims. Initial testing on various species provides ample proof the virus can adapt flawlessly, regardless of the host used. With the civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. Idiots were experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. Extra security. The doors only open one at a time. Makes sense, considering what they had locked up in here. The door's unlocked. Let's get out of here. Over there! That doorway leads to the Gozu district. This looks familiar. I liked it better when Morden Solis was here shooting up looters. Morden is dead. Pity. He was a very practical kind of Solarian. <laughs> 